Hey, what's happening, guys? What I've got for you today is version 4 of my Nano Experimenter board. You can see we have an Arduino Nano here. We've got a 0.96 inch OLED. We've got some LEDs with current limiting resistors. We've got a couple of buttons. And we have a couple outputs there. So, what I've done here is I've made one significant improvement and one mistake. If you take a look here at the OLED, you can see this particular one is VCC ground. Some of them are ground VCC. Well, that poses a particular problem when trying to design something. So, a few weeks ago, I was watching YouTube, as I often do, and I ran across a Julian Eilert video where he had created this little uh, jumper thing here. So you see, if the jumpers are in the vertical position, it's negative positive. If they're in the horizontal position, it's positive negative. Let me show you that. Going to power this off. And we'll bring in the meter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the OLED from its socket because I don't want to reverse bias it. Then I'll just stick a couple of wires in there and we can get our readings off of them Let me zoom out here so you can see the meter all right so we are in the horizontal position now which is positive on the left negative on the right so if we check this with the meter I can get my fingers on it. There you go. 4.66 volts. Now what I'm going to do is go to the other position. And you see we have negative 4.66. So it's doing what I want. I wish I'd have thought of it, but I didn't. So credit where credit is due. That is a Julian thing. And uh, I'll show you how we did it here in just a minute. So otherwise on here, we have um, four of the addressable LEDs, so the, you know, they can be turned up and down with PWM. They're the ones that have a little mark on them. We have three LEDs that are not. Then we have switches. Switches are connected to pins seven and eight. And right now I just have it set, so if I press the button seven, we get a red LED. If I press eight, we get a green LED. That's really all there is to it. I've broken out the analog ports here. We have extra power and ground here. And down here we have our digital ports broken out. This was a bad design choice. This is why I don't design circuit boards. Let's go look at it on the computer. Alright, so here's our schematic drawing. Start here with the Nano. Now I'm not doing anything to TX and RXs or our serial ports. We start here with ground, and then we have D2, and they're all broken out over here. And you can see our LEDs are broken out off of that, along with the current limiting resistor going to ground. We have our two switches, 
That one's connected to D7. And that one's connected to D8. Now what's really cool is when we come up here, we have our OLED. And here is our jumper thing. So this wire goes to 5 volts. That one goes to one of the OLEDs. This one goes to ground. So here, it's one in four that are our uh, power pins. So if we connect straight across, then we connect five volts to pin one. But if we connect vertically, then we get our ground. Come on, ground. Yeah, our ground then connects to pin one. We're putting our ground there, see, into pin one. So that works well. Then we come over to here. I'm going to do another version of this, and I'm going to have to move these digital pins out of the way somewhere. And there's our 3D view. Of course, in this case, it's black, but it doesn't really matter. Yep. And of course, I ordered these boards from PCBWay, who are a major sponsor of my channel. Of course, you knew that. But if you look right here, you can see their specs. One to ten layer board they can do in as fast as 24 hours. You only need five. You can order as many as a thousand. Then their full feature boards. One to 40 layers. Same day to five weeks. And PCB assembly. Two days to three weeks. So if you need simple or if you need complex, they've got you covered at PCB Way. So yeah, that's V4 of my Nano Experimenters board. I like the way it's coming along. Looks good. Like I said, I'm going to have to move these digital pins, even if I just move them over a half inch here, just so we're clearing that connector. I think we'll be fine. What else would you like to see on the board? Let me know down below in the comments, and I'll see if we can't make it happen. But I would like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And a big thanks to our patrons for supporting the channel. I wouldn't be here without them. That's it. I'm out. Peace.